And can, can they kick down the door? They, that would be illegal. It would be illegal for ISIS to just kick in the door. I want to play an NBC interview with the former chief of ISIS. His name is John Sandwick, uh, who has said that the raids, that, sorry, the, the raids that were announced are actually just for political gain. It's actually a, a post I'm just going to read what he said. He said, uh, I absolutely expect that the administration intends to arrest every single one of those individuals when they go to these types of homes, even if the intended target is not there when they arrive, Sandwick said. We need to be able to have a trusting relationship with people in the immigrant community so they point us to where the bad guys are. He said, obviously, you eliminate that when we talk about these kinds of race targeting non-criminal family populations. I'm not sure what he's trying to get at, but they're actually saying that they want people to cooperate with ICE that is coming to knock down people's doors. Is it normal if there are going to be raids of criminals that they announced in advance? No. This is inexplicable other than for political gain. You know, the point of these raids is cruelty. The point of these raids is tearing families apart. The administration is not doing what the data says. When families have access to a lawyer, they show up in their immigration court proceedings 99% of the time. When families participate in the ICE case family management program and are paired with a social worker, they show up for their immigration proceedings 99% of the time. We do not need race. We need lawyers and we need social workers to help refugee families show up for their immigration court proceedings. Right, and Congresswoman, you know, there are now people who, you know, as we're hearing reports, people are, are afraid to show up to evacuate if they need to be evacuated. We have a huge storm that's happening right now that's hitting Louisiana, which is, you know, some cities in Louisiana are being targeted, places like Houston. You know, should people, should people be, should, would people be comfortable being able to evacuate? Like if somebody shows up, let's say, to evacuate from the storm, can they be arrested? No, absolutely not. And this is what this administration is causing. And I want to make sure and urge everyone out there who is in the path of whether it's an earthquake or a major uh, disaster, such as, um, you know, what is all this rain and flooding that is happening, please evacuate and please go to a shelter. Um, your local authorities are there to protect you and they will protect you. And that's why it's so critically important that our local authorities come out and say that they are not part of this um, ICE raids that are being conducted across America. And, and there's been, Jan, a lot of pushback against, um, you know, city leaders with mayors, governors who have said they're not going to participate. There are a lot of mayors who are saying they're not going to participate in this at all. Houston's mayor um, had a statement about the upcoming raids, and our job is people to be running and to maintain public safety in our neighborhoods. Our job is not to be ICE. We are not here to report people who have families. In fact, ICE has not contacted me about the raids in Houston. We are not working with cooperating with ICE on such raids. I also remind Houstonians that they are entitled to due process in accordance with the law of the United States. That's Mayor Sylvester Turner of Houston. Um, Jim, you know, it, there is a situation now where you, you have a, a direct clash between the federal government and cities. They're saying they're not going to cooperate. Um, and at the same time, we're watching, and we saw the um, the vice president and three senators actually visit a place where people are being held. Can you talk a little bit about the attitude of people on the other side of this? We saw, you can see them there. Um, Lindsey Graham is with him. Uh, the, the senator from South Carolina, North Carolina, was there. They're not even looking at the people.